Hi, this is Sahir Asghar and today I'll talk about some main topics regarding cloud computing and data analytics. So let's start with the introduction of cloud computing. What is cloud? So you all are aware of this term cloud or you hear the term in your offices, in colleges, in and in your real life examples as well. So in general, the cloud is the internet. More specifically, it's all the things you can access remotely over the internet. So let's elaborate it in more detail. Basically, cloud computing is the delivery of computing services. So what can be computing services? Computing services can be your servers, storages, databases, networking, and software. Cloud computing named is cloud because the information being accessed is found remotely in the cloud or virtual space. For example, companies that provide cloud services enable users to store their files and store their data, store their applications on remote servers, and then they access data over the internet. So let's contrast between old approach and new approach. In old approach, a girl is looking so upset, she is experiencing with online shopping, but she has to wait for more time and transaction speed is too slow. So the question is why, what, why the transaction speed is too slow? Because there's just one web server and the server has to fetch data from different, from different databases for different tasks. For example, if she has to request for a particular product and, uh, and, and, and the information of product, so server has to take information for, from product list this is different database from image database. This is different. And from billing and account information, this is different. So this structure is very complex for users and server as well. But in this picture, which is new approach, you can see Amazon reorganized the whole approach. First of all, request arrived at a first year there are there are very lightweight servers and this dispatch work request on a message bus or you can say these are queues and the request was selected by microservices running in elastic pools so fact is this one web request involves tens or hundreds of microservices which is very easy for users to access their data in microseconds Why cloud? The question is this, why we use cloud? So rather than keeping files on local storage on or hard drive, cloud-based storage make it possible to save them to a remote database. As long as an electronic device has access to the web, it has access to the data and program through on it. You ever experienced with Google Drive in your life? So Google Drive, Google Drive give a user an advantage to keep their files, to keep their data, to keep their images in folders. And then users, later on users can access it in Google Drive anytime. And um, from cloud, file sharing is very easy and you can backing up your data as well. And it is very easy with timeline features. As you can see, backup one with one hour, one hour ago and backup two with 10 minutes ago. So these are basic needs of cloud. Types of cloud computing. So there are two types. You can say there are two deploy two models for cloud computing. One is deployment model and one is service model. So let's discuss with deployment model first in next slide. What are de what is deployment model? So there are three clouds: public clouds, private cloud, and hybrid cloud. So in public cloud, you share the same hardware, storage, and network devices with other organization, and you access services and manage your account using web servers. For example, for example, AWS, Microsoft Azure, IBM's Blue Cloud, and Sun Cloud. In private cloud, a private cloud where the infrastructure is dedicated to single organization. For example, AWS. HP data centers, VMware. 
and a hybrid cloud. Hybrid cloud is basically a mixture, you can say a combination of public cloud and private cloud. For example, federal agencies offer private clouds when sensitive information is involved. Also, they use a public cloud to share data sets with general public or other government departments. So the example of hybrid cloud are Google Cloud, Google Drive, and Gmail. So next is services model. So let's discuss with SaaS. SaaS. So SaaS is abbreviated as software as a service. It is a way of delivering applications over internet as a service. If I'm talking about the example of SaaS, so Dropbox, Google Workspace, and Netflix are example of SaaS. And pass, platform as a service is on demand access to a complete ready to use, running, maintaining, and managing application. Facebook is an example of pass. And this is infrastructure as a service. It is a type of cloud computing that offers essential compute, storage, and networking resources on demand. For example, Microsoft Azure and AWS. And there, it is fully virtualized platform environment and there is no need to buy any infrastructure. So let's discuss with microservices. Microservices are a program packaged as a Docker container. There is two architecture. There are two architecture, monolithic architecture and microservices architecture. So why it is why I include the monolithic architecture in this diagram because we used monolithic architecture in past days. And monolithic architecture is considered to be a traditional way of building applications. It is unified and all the functions are managed and served in one place. And it, it these all are dependent. Normally, monolithic applications have one large code base and lack modularity. If the developers want to update or change something, they access the same, that same code base, so they make changes in the whole stack at once, which is very difficult and complex structure, and you can see complex architecture. But, but if I'm talking about Microsoft architecture, so Microsoft architecture break it down into collection of smaller independent units. And these units carry out every application process as a separate services. So all the services have their own logic and databases as well as perform specific functions. So developers don't need to change their code at stack level. It, if developer need to change anything in separate, so so uh, he can he or she can change at independent level. So next is sharding. Basically, it is a concept of database sharding, and uh, sharding is a method for distributing single data set across multiple data sets, which can then store into multiple machines. So as you can see, it is long data set, which is divided into three different databases, three small different databases. So basically, this allows for large data set to be split into smaller chunks and stored in multiple data nodes, increasing the total storage capacity which is very easy for um, users to access data because it is data shard, it is database sharding. So advantages of database sharding is increased read and write throughput and uh, increased storage capacity and increased high availability. Like shards provide high availability in two ways. First, since each shard is a replica set, every piece of data is replicated. Second, even if an entire shard becomes unavailable, so since the data is disturbed, the database as a whole still remains partially functional with part of the schema on different shards. So it is very easy and efficient manner of databases. 
So let's start with the concept of cascading. So what is cascading? Cascading basically a concept is it is a it is extensible services for um you can say it is behave it behave as a customized service and extensible service. So we can contrast it um, between all the approach and new approach. In all the approach, you can say in traditional approach, when a user requests something, a generated request, a generated request. This is a user request. A generated request must have, must first check the data is present in databases. And then if it is being there, then it is copied over the data centers and then GPU accelerate it. And the Lambda, Lambda is basically code. Lambda and data are in different places and it has, it has to be more, it, it should, it has to be more way to be transaction, transaction for all things. And which is very slow process because your logic, your Lambda, Lambda is basically your code are in different places. But if I'm talking about new approach, recent approach, so your Lambda, your code, and your data are in same place. There are three different layers and just one address space. Same database, same address space with different three layers. And it is very easy for users to access their data in microseconds in, in less time because of cascade runtime environment. So next we are talking about, we will talk about Gossip protocols. So what is, what are Gossip protocols? Gossip protocols basically is a communication protocol that allows state sharing in distributed systems. Most modern system uses protocol to disseminate information to all the members in network or clusters. So this is blockchain. Hard to deny that blockchain is a big business. Gossip is used to distribute it, update in permissionless blockchain where the participants are anonymous but might not be cooperating. So maintain huge networks, data integrity, some blockchain deployments users are distributed communication method known as Gossip protocols. So let's discuss it with more detail. It is very large cluster. It is not one, two, three, four, and five. So if I'm, wait, okay. So first of all, not one will start at GOSI protocol, which says not two and not five. Not two and not five. And this will mean node one will pass the data it knows to node two and data it knows about itself to node five. At the same time, node three start GOSI protocol to node four and node five. So next in the next round, um, node five will initiate GOSI protocol with node three and node two. Five initiate Gossip protocol to node three and not two. Basically, it is like as virus. Like uh, all information are infected as virus infect. So at, as node five has already received data from node one and node three, but actually, actually need to know is data about itself node five, but also about node one and node three. Re so received data from node five will contain information about the current state of node five and node one. As gossip spread around the cluster, more nodes will know, will become more of more nodes and gossips will contain more and more up-to-date data about cluster. So gossips, gossips protocols share more up-to-date data until it reach at the point where every node almost know everything about all nodes in the clusters. So if we will discuss 
how two nodes can communicate to each other. So this is this is one knot and this is two knot. Not one initiate gossip session to not two. It initiate gossip session to not two. And it will send to knit on in all the nodes. IP of each node nodes the heartbeat state, which include the timestamp of each node. Time stamped, it include timestamp of each node. So also there there are basically two different state one is heartbeat state and what one is application state which is used for um, sharing the information from node 1 to node 2 so also application state which is basically kind of representation of the health of node and it will send this from multiple nodes so this could be the ip of this node and it will send it for another node the ip of the node for example there is IP of one node and two not have their own IP. Okay, so basically one not uh, initiate the session to two not. So now it will compare each node it knows about about to each node that node one told us about and say using the heartbeat state for each node which information is more up to date. And if the information is already new about more up to date, if it finds its data is more up to date, it will um it will it will send back to node one. Um, in easy words, I can say if uh, two node uh, have, has information that it has more up to date data, so it send inform it sent there it sent its information to node one back. So it knows our uh, it it knows it has more up to date knowledge, more up to date data. So now both nodes have same up to date data, and uh, uh, they both nodes have knowledge. They have not different data. They have same data. They share same data. After receive data from two nodes, one node sent final final acknowledgement to node. Two that that it accepted all amendments and it received all amendments from node two. So these are basic process of gossip protocols that how the informations are accessed and how information are shared in big clusters. So. Wait. Sorry, I just used it for understanding the purpose and I'm just raising it. Okay. So these are computer to computer information. So did you know Gossip Protocol is a procedure or process of computer, compute, computer to computer communication that is based on the way how social network dis disseminate information or how epidemics spread. It is communication protocol basically. All social networks are connected through Gossip's protocol. So next we will discuss timestamp in computer system. Okay, so this is, there are two process P and Q. Process P, basically it is left to right. P sends message, M is message. P send message to Q. Q receives message. So here A and B, this one A and B 
end up with the identical time. So we incorrectly concluded A didn't happen before B. So in next point, take on diagram, uh, take note on diagram that Lampard proposes is fixed that each time an interesting event occurs at P increment logically clock P. So these are, I can, I can um, give an illustration or an example for understanding the purpose at what I am saying. For instance, if person A, for instance, if person A shares, shares stock information with person B and, um, um, and person A share information to person B at 10 o'clock at night. And persons B sell all the stocks at 10, 10 and 1 minute p.m. 10, 1, uh, you can say 10, 1 or 10, 10 p.m. In basically after one minute or two minute, he share all the stocks. So we can estimate that event one event A happened first and event B happened on second. And we can also estimate what event caused another reason. So first of all, A event occur, then B event occur. P sends message, Q receives message. This is event A and this is event B. But in many cases, uh, the disadvantage is this, that A and B end up with this identical time. So we are failed in this term. Then we can discuss Lamport proposes. So Lamport proposes this fixed that we uh, that in in uh, in that time uh, we don't need identical time for A and B event. So he say each time an interesting event occurs at P increment logical clock P. For example, he said max logical clock Q comma logical clock M plus one. He said just uh, when just uh, A event occur, so, so plus one. So add one in that in the event A because we want to have event B, but increment, uh, but first of all, just increment one in, um, in event A and then we just receive event B. So this all are about time stamped data. Like uh, Q computes logical clock Q is equal to max 03. 03, 0123, P 0 and 3, and plus 1 is equal to 4. It means 0 and 3 is a part of event A and four is a part of event B. So we can conclude this part A, uh, event A occur first and B occur second. Next, we will discuss about geoscale cloud. So this is a concept of availability zones and regions. What are regions? Regions are physical locations around the world. And in these regions, you have all data centers. And these data centers are logically grouped into availability zones. Availability zones are distinct locations within AWS regions that are isolated from failures in other availability zones. As you can see, AWS regions, this is AWS regions, yellow part is AWS regions, and red part is AWS edge locations. So each availability zone has independent power, independent power and physical security, but they work together at same locations. So these are three availability zones. For example, if you create your application in one region and one region ha have three zo availability zones. For example, if the one availability zone is crashed. So it is not just end up for uh, that. It, is, it doesn't mean that your application is end. You can use second availability zone and you have option of third availability zone as well. 
So availab availability zones are are those location within AWS regions that are isolated. Like zone one, zone two, zone three, three different zone in one region. And it, that is Azure regions. Azure availab availability zones are separate buildings tens of miles apart within our region. Then availab availability, availability, sorry, availability zones uh, AWS Management Console. So in AWS Management Console, you can select region from this part. When you click on, uh, when you click on uh, right, right corner, you can select your regions. And in region, you can see different zones against your region, your specific regions. So let's wrap up this presentation and the purpose of presentation. So basically cloud computing is very cost effective. Uh, for example, if I'm talking about cloud computing, why I'm talking too much about cloud. So just wrap up in the way that cloud computing, uh, if I'm talking about business, business can access the resources they need on an as needed services, which eliminates the need to purchase and maintain expensive hardware and software. So it is, it, it provides you security. It is very better customer experience. It saves on capital cost and also reduce the amount of time and effort needed to manage and maintain large and very large scale hardware. It is very secure because data stored in the cloud is typically encrypted and anyone, any person, every person wanting to access the data needs to have the digital key. So big cloud computing companies have hired some of the world's best data security experts and they store some data in multiple places in case hardware breaks. It is very scalable because cloud computing has eliminated the infrastructure cost required to invest in hardware facilities, utilities or building large data centers. So cloud infrastructure scales on demand is what you can say uh, fluctuating workloads, which has uh, resulted in those scalability of data of data produced and consumed by big data applications. So due to cloud, it's very better customer experience, better communication and teamwork, and it and cloud gives you automatic updates. So that's all about. Thank you.